Hello friends, I am Isha from Video SDK. You wonder what is a Video SDK? Video SDK provides developer with a simple to use, highly customizable and widely compatible APIs to embed a real-time video, voice and interaction functionality into their applications. For more information, please visit our website videosdk.life. Now, in this video, we are going to see how to create a an Android app with a video SDK by implementing a few steps only. Let's start. As you can see, this is our official website of video SDK. Now go to the developer tab, then go to the Android. It will redirect to the official documentation of Android. Now go to the start voice or video call. Before further proceeding, ensure that your development environment meets the following requirements. Java Development Kit, Android Studio 3.0 or later, Android SDK API level 18 or higher, a mobile device that run Android 4.3 or later. And most importantly, Video SDK account to generate a token. If you have not, you can create it by just one click. If you have, you are ready to go. Now let's start with the code. First, we create a new Android project. For that, go to the Android Studio. Select new project. Select phone and tablet with the MP activity. Click on next. Name of the project. Select language as per the requirement. We are here we are using a Kotlin. Then click on the finish. After creating a project, now we integrate a video SDK. If we are using Android Studio version that is older than Android Studio Bubble, then add this repository to the project's build.gradle file. If you are using Android Studio Bubble or a newer version, then add this repository to the settings.gradle file. For that, copy these two lines. And paste it in our dependency resolution management. Then click on sync now. After that, add Android SDK dependency into your project. For that, copy this line and paste it in your apps build.gradle file. Then click on the sync now. To generate a meeting ID, we perform some network call. For that, add this library into your project. Again, click on the sync now. Since we are using internet, camera and audio in our project, we need to add these permissions into our project. So copy these lines. Go to the Android manifest file and paste it here. This is the structure of your project. Your app architecture would be like this. This is a join activity. Here we have two buttons, create meeting and join meeting and one text view for the meeting ID. Whether you click a create meeting button or join meeting button, it will be redirect to the meeting activity. As you can see here, we have a recycler view. In the recycler view, you can see all the participants. This is the control buttons. From here, you can toggle mic and webcam and leave the meeting. Okay, let's start with the code. First, we create a main application class that extends the application class. Go to the Android Studio. Class 
enter the name of the class which is the main application copy these lines and paste it here import this application class after that add main application to the android manifest file copy this line go to the android manifest file and paste it in the application tag step number 2 creating join in screen create meeting button will create a new meeting for you this text will contain a meeting id that you want to join join meeting button will join the meeting with the meeting id that you provided here let's create join activity go to the android studio go to the activity select empty activity enter the name of the activity which is a join activity click on finish we have to set this join activity as a launcher activity so go to the android manifest file set exported as a true In activity join XML file, replace the content with the following lines. Copy these lines. Go to the activity join XML file. And paste it here. Your join activity would be like this. Now we integrate a create meeting API. In that, first we need to declare a sample token variable that holds the generated token from the video SDK dashboard. So go to the video SDK dashboard. From here, you can generate your token. Copy this token. Go to the Android Studio. In the join activity, create a variable. sample token and paste it here your token so that we have to set on click listener for create meeting button and join meeting button copy these lines and paste it here import all the class join button on click events we will navigate to to the meeting activity with the token and a meeting id so let's create a meeting activity select empty activity for create button under the create meeting method we will generate a meeting id by calling a api and then navigate to the meeting activity with the token and meeting id copy these lines and replace it with the create meeting method import all the classes is a completely based on audio and video communication that's why we need to ask a runtime permission for a record audio and camera so we will implement a permission logic in the join activity 
copy these lines and paste it here import all the class and call check self permission method in the on create copy these lines and paste it here step number 3 creating a meeting screen in activity meeting xml file replace the content with the following lines copy these lines and paste it here now we initialize the meeting after getting a token and meeting id from the join activity we will configure the video sdk with the token after that we initialize the meeting with a parameter such as meeting id participant name mic enable webcam enable and custom participant id if you pass null here then sdk will create a id by itself then we will add meeting event listener for listening event such as meeting join meeting left participant join participant left then we will join the room with meeting join method okay now we will copy these lines and paste it here import all the classes now it's a time to enable disable local participant webcam and mic for the mic we will use mute mic and unmute mic method of the meeting class for the camera we will use disable webcam and enable webcam method to leave the meeting we will use leave method of the meeting class copy this method set action listeners and paste it here call this method in on create now we will handle the participant view as i said earlier we will show the list of the participant in the recycler view for that first we need to create a layout file named item remote pair so go to the android studio in the layout folder new select layout resource file named as a item remote pair click okay copy this lines and paste it here After that we will create a recycler view adapter named participant adapter which will show the participant list select kotlin class enter the name of the class which is the participant adapter in this adapter create a peer view holder which will extend the recycler view dot view holder now copy these lines and paste it here import all the classes now we will render the list of the participant for the meeting for that first we need to create a empty list which will store all the participant then add the local participant to the list after that 
at the meeting event center to get participate to join and participate to left event in the meeting copy these lines and paste it here import all the classes to return the size of the total number of participants copy this line and paste it in a get item count method we will set our participants now let's set up the view holder to display the participant video for that copy this lines and paste it in a on by view holder method the adapter is ready add this adapter to the meeting activity copy these lines go to the meeting activity and paste it in on create the app is all set to test let's run the app allow the permissions then create meeting After implementing all the steps, your app should be look like this. If you stuck anywhere, please join our community on Discord. Thank you for watching this video.